Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Garden A Little and this is Garden Update Week 11. Today is August and I cannot believe it. The summer flew by. I mean, I spent most of it in my clinical rotations and in school, so probably that's why. But I've been getting baskets and baskets of harvest out of my garden and today I want to harvest and walk around and see what's been going on in my garden. As you can see, this garden is not as luscious as it was last time because the temperatures have been higher, but also it has been starting to rain and getting cooler at night. So I think the garden knows that fall is coming. But nonetheless, look at these tomatoes, guys. We are gonna start with our big tomato bed, just like usual. These guys are still pumping and are amazing. We have some turning colors. This is, um, I believe, green zebras. So although they're called green zebras, they do turn colors. And this one's almost, and this one is almost ready because I can feel that it is softer than, um, you know, not ripe tomato. The tomatoes have been growing and growing and they almost all overgrew the tops. Then we have a solar flare tomato and they are gorgeous, very pretty tomatoes. They have these stripes of red and yellow and they're absolutely delicious, very sweet tomatoes. Um, we got a few of them that are ripened up. You can see that there's redness to it. That's how you know they're ripe. Very pretty tomatoes. And look at this gorgeous beauty. We got the green stripes, the redness. Amazing. Moving on to my pepper patch here. I got so many Buena Mulata peppers. I did not think that they are this prolific. Boy oh boy, this pepper plants have not stopped flowering, have not stopped producing peppers. And these rainbow mini bell peppers are also pumping out some bell peppers. The problem is I don't really know when to pick these because I picked them, I guess, early and they did not taste very well. They were still bitter. Um, I was imagining them being a little bit more sweeter. So I'm giving them more time on the plant, but um, still, I don't really know when to harvest them. Here are these mini bell peppers. And then there's some like yellow ones right here or yellower but i'm not sure when to pick them and then buena mulata peppers i mean seriously come on just covered and then my tomatoes that are you know kind of fell over here because of the weight of the tomatoes i actually got a few ripe ones over here these are the floridaid red tomatoes and then my giant keystone green bell peppers are doing very well, giving them some more time to ripen up. But I've definitely had some bell peppers from these plants already. Look, look at these guys. They really are ginormous, very, very big plants. And then these are the uh, pumpkin spice jalapenos. I mean, I can assume that you can eat them now while they're green, but they're supposed to turn orange. That's their name, pumpkin spice. But plants are covered in jalapenos as well. Then this jalapeno plant, the purple jalapeno plant, um, it's slowing down in its production for sure. So I'm trying to keep up with the picking. Maybe it will produce more blooms this way, but we'll see. So more peppers. Cucumber trellis is not doing as luscious as it was in my last video. I'm not sure why. I have a few of these guys that are kind of dying, drying out. Um, I track down that vine and see if I chopped it by accident when I was trimming or something like that and I didn't find anything. I didn't find any um, bug damage as well but you know I still have cucumbers. Um, that have been growing pretty well on this vine, just like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest what I can from this trellis. And then moving on to the cucamelon side of the trellis, I have been snacking on these guys like it's, you know, nobody's business. I really love the sourness of these. It got me, I had to try it a few times before I got used to the taste, and now that I am used to it, I really like it a lot. They're very refreshing, less 
um, like cucumbers, but a little bit more sour. So um, if you've never grown cucamelons, I advise you do so. This is, I think, three or four plants here and it just covered the whole entire trellis. My strawberry patch is growing some flowers, guys. Look at that. I might get some more strawberries this season. I'm very excited about these because I haven't had a chance to try a strawberry yet. They are doing very good, amazing. My zinnias are so beautiful. I really enjoy coming out here, taking a good whiff of fresh wildflowers. Very pretty. On this side of the zinnia patch, I have my albino peppers, and they've been doing really good. Harvest them. They've been doing pretty well. Um, not as productive as other peppers, but still. And then my two banana pepper plants here are doing really good too. Um, I'm not sure what this is all about. Is this the uh, assuming that it is so I'm not gonna eat that but most of my banana peppers are healthy very beautiful and very delicious and then moving on to my jungle of a bed of cherry tomatoes so many different colors and types of tomatoes I am so excited about this patch um, it has been getting a little bit overwhelming but I have a lot of classmates who are very appreciative of free organic produce so I don't mind harvesting these guys every day. These tomatoes are called Bosque Blue Bumblebees. Look how pretty they are. These are atomic grape tomatoes. This one's ready. It has some greens, some reds, some oranges, yellows, and purples. It is one of the most beautiful tomatoes you'll ever grow. Look at that. It's just amazing. It's so pretty. Then I have these rainbow cherry tomatoes. They are the sweetest tomatoes ever. I honestly really enjoy them. They are tiny and they are delicious. I forgot the name of these tomatoes. They are not rainbow cherry. They are more like a brown pink tomatoes, but they're still cherry tomatoes. Um, I'm not sure what the name of them are, but they are so good. They are not as acidic as rainbow cherries or any regular tomato, but they're not as sweet as yellow pears or Bosque blue bumblebees. So yeah, these are also pretty good. And these are the yellow pear tomatoes. They are so sweet, so delicious. I really love snacking on these. These are sun gold tomatoes. This is a tomato that survived in my old garden bed and I really hoped that it was a sun gold tomato and it is, but these are not ready yet so we'll leave them be. And black beauties are also not ready yet so we'll leave them be as well. Then I have these odd yellow tomatoes. I want to say there's something called like champagne something. They are so sweet. They are almost grape-like, very fruity, and so light. I really enjoy these. I only have one plant of these though, so I'm not exactly sure what these are called. And of course, I cannot leave this bed without talking about the pumpkin. And guys, that pumpkin is huge! 
I think we are gonna have some amazing roasted pumpkin seeds this season. Look at this pumpkin. It has turned out pretty well, turning pretty orange. I'm very excited. I'm gonna leave this be. I think there's only one pumpkin on this vine. So kind of a bummer, but better than nothing. All right, so the real bummer comes with this next bed where the okra and the watermelons are growing. My watermelons are not doing so well. I'm not sure what happened. They are all looking wilty and dry. I have no idea. The roots are looking healthy. Nobody chewed on them, but we have casualties. This watermelon's doing good, so I'm leaving this on the vine as long as I can. There's another one. There's a few pumpkins. The okras are doing amazing. There's another watermelon on this still you know, dying vine, so we'll see what happens to it. But these zucchinis, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull them. They are covered in pests and it's getting really annoying and tiresome in cleaning them. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna go ahead and pull all this out. My eggplants are finally starting to grow. Look at this, amazing, so exciting. I'm very excited about that. As you can see, my brassicas are not doing very well. Although I think I might have some Brussels sprouts starting to form, so I'm leaving them be. They are looking very sad though, extremely sad. So I'm not sure if anything will come off of it, but I went ahead and sowed some peas here. So if this doesn't survive, we have some peas growing this fall. And then moving on to my last bed here, my herbs are doing great, especially parsley. It's loving the cooler nights. Dill is doing amazing, petunias, chives. I've got so many lettuces here growing and I've got so many salads harvested from this bed. They're starting to get a little bitter, so I'm slowing down on that. But my carrots are doing fine. Look at that, they're forming. I'm excited about that. And look at this garden overall. So pretty. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me now. This is week 11 of Garden Tour and I am excited to see what I can do with this garden harvest because that was a lot. I need to preserve. Um, so if you have any easy, quick ideas of how to preserve your garden harvest, please drop them down below or your links to your videos because I would love to watch them, support you guys, and return the favor, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much again for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.